she's not feeling so good either. Um, she's got some congestion, heavy mucus I've been finding. So I don't, I don't, I don't waste any time. You know, I don't play any games. Um, we don't want it to turn into pneumonia where now that becomes lethal to the puppies. <laughs> So what's going on, Bully Fam? Um, I got a special puppy here. She's actually off of our repeat breeding, um, Crossbones to Coco, which produced the F1 Angry Toy Bulls. Um, so she is an Angry Toy Bull herself. Um, she is, I believe, seven or eight weeks. Got a nice mean mug to her. Very special girl. She's gonna be staying here at the camp. She's not going anywhere. Um, beautiful lilac color anyway so let's get to the serious point right so with her she has a little bit of congestion going on as you can hear me i had a little bit of congestion going on i'm feeling i've been feeling a little under the weather so sorry if i sound a little out of whack guys but anyway she's not feeling so good either um she's got some congestion heavy mucus i've been finding so i don't I don't, I don't waste any time. I don't play any games. Um, we don't want it to turn into pneumonia where now that becomes lethal to the puppies. So the first things I'm gonna look at when uh, I notice the puppy, uh, when I'm looking at the puppy, right? That, that made me initially grab her and say, hey, Jonathan, we gotta do something. Is um, when I looked at her, uh, the first thing I noticed was she had mucus around her nose. So I'm, I'm seeing the mucus, the boogers. That was the first thing. So one of the first things I'll do is, which I already did, was take her temperature. Do we have a fever? If we have a fever, then we need, we know that uh, it's a little bit more, um, it's a little bit more something we have to worry about, and we need to work even faster. But she didn't have a fever, so that that that's a good sign. You know, it means um, at least to me, we caught things relatively early. Um, like I said, mucus, um, having that that boogery discharge really kind of isn't good. Um, when they're just, you know, when they're around this age. And usually what it means is that they, like, got some milk into the lungs or went down the wrong pipe, something like that. And especially when they're a little bit older like this, it's a lot easier to eliminate than when they're, like, newborns, for example. So anyway, so with her, um, as you can see, she got a little bit of booger. Um, she It looks like she ate some food and it dried up on her nose. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick uh, what I would do here. So like I said, the first thing I'm going to do anytime you guys have an issue or you think there's an issue with your puppies, take the temperature. That's the first thing. Find out if there's a fever. The next thing is um, for, for, this, for this particular scenario, um, I'm going to put her on some antibiotics. I'm going to put her on Clavamox. Um, she'll be on, uh, on Clavamox liquid for about five to seven days. You typically want to give it, an, uh, you typically want to give the antibiotic a couple of days even after the symptoms have passed. So typically around, it's like five to seven days. Um, I may even do a combo um, because I really don't want to play any games. I may even also hit her with doxycycline because doxycycline is a good upper respiratory um, antibiotic as well. It's, it's good for upper respiratories. So anyway, one thing though that we can do other than putting her on the meds, is I love having this neonatal suction machine. Um, before we, but before we even get to that, right? Let me not jump the gun. Before we even get to that, um, when you're dealing with mucus, uh, uh, upper respiratory infections, things like that, um, other than checking for the temperature, other than seeing the boogers, and that's why I like for everything. Like I tell you guys, everything systematically. It's not just one sure thing. Um, I'm gonna grab. Um, Damn, what's the name? A stethoscope. We're going to use our step stethoscope and we're going to listen. And generally, when you have, you can usually hold the puppy's uh, nose to your ear and you can hear, you know, but um, I'm going to do it this way too. So with the stethoscope, you'll be able to hear, you know, crackling. You'll be able to hear crackling while they're breathing. I mean, honestly, if it's bad enough, you can hold the puppy to your ear. Let's see. You can usually, I'm gonna hold it to the to the, to the camera so you guys can maybe hear. Um, I just used a little bit of the, the handheld aspirator. It didn't do that great. I should have recorded it. Um, where did I put that thing? Did you see the aspirator? Mm, the no, not the thing? handheld one. Huh? Not the handheld. Uh, let me see, one sec. Mm -hmm. Guys, but I was using the little bulb and it got a little bit out, but not fully. And that's exactly the purpose in showing you guys what I was going to do next. So 
if you guys can hear, let me see, if you guys can hear, I'm gonna hold her next to the mic, I think. She's got a little bit of like, you can hear that congestion, that crackling, you know, the mucusy, probably like sounds like how I smell, uh, how I smell, how I sound right now, you know. So anyway, what we're going to do to fully kind of try to get her to be able to breathe a little bit better, help her out, get that mucus out right now, rather than waiting for the antibiotics to kick in and things like that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use our suction machine. So, have the hose here with our little adapter that we've retrofitted. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing on. And in, in no time, it really kind of builds up pressure. So I'm gonna go ahead now, and you're gonna hold the pup, and you're gonna go ahead now and, uh, easier for somebody else helping you to do this but as you can see ooh, look at that we got a nice big mugger booger right there ooh, look at the inside of that thing you know and sometimes they'll try to shy away from you on it but hey you know they feel 10 times better afterwards let me see sometimes you gotta just restrain them a little bit i know my mom Ooh, look at that, wow. See, mm -hmm. so. And now she's not fighting me as much because I think, you know, she rather prefer to be able to breathe. So as you can see, I mean, look at all that mucus in there. Mm. You see that, right? Yeah, Nasty. Visible on that. And one of those little handheld things. I mean, look, I was out before before we recorded like earlier today. I was trying to use that little handheld thing, and that was not cutting it, bro. That was not cutting it, not cutting it at all. And believe it or not, this amount even here itself. Let's cut this off. She's she's gonna feel a lot better just by even getting this out it's right here itself. You know. So. I'm going to keep um, doing this as I see more mucus come. I don't want to overkill, but, you know, I may do it twice a day, three times a day. I'm going to go based off of the female, see how she's doing, you know, how quick it's coming back, things like that. Like I said, let me put this down. As I said, I'm going to, um, she's on antibiotics, so we put her on uh, doxycycline and we put her on uh, Clavamox. So that's going to treat congestion in the lungs and... Um, you know, prevent it from becoming a, a, a bad pneumonia, as well as we're gonna continue to keep using the suction machine, which is really gonna rip out that mucus. And um, like I said, the handheld aspirators, it, it just doesn't cut it for me, you know? Um, and I think that's it. So we may even tap you guys back in and give you guys an update of how she turned out and whatnot. But I mean, it's very mild. So I know she's gonna do great. But I just wanted to show you guys, I mean, this is something that you can easily do and treat at home versus left unchecked and untreated can turn to pneumonia. And I mean, puppy could potentially die if you're not prepared. So hope this was helpful. Hope it was useful. I just figured I'd show you guys because I always, um, you know, like to have uh, these real life case scenarios to show you guys. And um, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Breeders Hacks. All right. What's going on, Bully Fam? It's been about like three or four days. And I got and I got this little girl here. Um, I just figured I'd show you guys real quick. You can see she's got a lot more energy. She wants to play with me, try to bite my fingers. Um, her breathing is tremendously better. I don't know if you guys can hear. I don't know if you guys can hear or not. But her breathing is tremendously better. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, she's doing way better. We caught things very, very early. Um... We put her on some doxycycline, we put her on um, some Clavamox, and I mean, she's breathing 10 times better. Like I said, she's she wants to play, wants to bite, um, you know, all the good stuff. So um, we did do suction machine treatments uh, about um, two to three times a day, you know, just to get out whatever mucus was there in her nose. So we're gonna keep her on antibiotics and pretty much She's good to go. So I just wanted to show you guys what I what I do. It's only been, like I said, I think three or four days that she's been on the antibiotics as well as the um, the suction machine. And I mean, as you guys can see, hopefully through this video, tremendous difference, tremendous difference. So I just wanted to show you guys, you know, a quick scenario. 
what goes on over here, what how I would have handled it, how I did handle it, things like that. Ow. Um, <laughs> stuff like that. So anyway, as you can see, I'm filthy right now. I'm cleaning up kennels, feeding dogs, things like that. So I got to get back to work. But I just figured I'd, you know, give you guys the quick update and um, show you guys how things went. All right. So hope this information was helpful. Hope it was useful. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Breeders Hacks.